fantastic. Still, I feel as we leave our safety net of high school today, it's just one of those times that we can all use that extra reminder to watch out for what influences us. I think my class and I are pretty aware of the influences that we've chosen in high school. Friends, teachers, family. Some of us maybe haven't chosen entirely legal influences, but the point is, just about everything we do influences us in one way or another. Our influences have also affected who we are as people. To be honest, I think some of us could stand for an improvement in our influences. To be more painfully honest, I think some of us have chosen the right influences in high school and could very well someday end up picking the wrong influences. Either way, we now have the chance to pick new friends, new jobs, start fresh with new teachers, move where we want to. This is the time to take a look at our lives and filter out some of our negative influences. We've got ourselves a clean, well, I don't want to use the clean slate analogy, so I'll modernize it and call it a clean whiteboard. We've got ourselves a clean whiteboard here. Now, I'm not going to turn into a motivational speaker here or anything. I'm not going to pull up the whiteboard and say, What we've got here is the good stuff. And over here is the quagmire of life. And you've got good and the bad. And if you follow the bad, you're in the bad. Now, the... never mind. No, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that. But seriously, today we are erasing this whole whiteboard of our life. We can rewrite some of the old, better influences. We've got our family, our friends who kept us unaccountable for each other. But don't declutter our whiteboards with the old garbage that we used to have on it. And more important, don't fill it with new garbage. The, white, the space on our whiteboards is precious. We may never have a chance to erase these again. Think about every influence before we as a class add our influence and decide whether they're negative or positive. Don't waste space on your whiteboard. And no, you can't buy more space on eBay. But you know what's worse than having a whiteboard of your own filled with bad influences? Being the name on other people's whiteboards that they want to erase. That name that everyone regrets adding because that's the name that got them into a lot of trouble and then adding a lot of other bad influences onto their own whiteboards. As you meet new people, you will have an influence on them. But don't be that influence of the guy who taught me how to party or who got me started on the wrong track. Everyone with a testimony of how they got off the drugs has someone who got them off on the wrong track. Don't be that person. Today, we can be positive role models. Be the name that people wouldn't consider erasing because you're the person who got them through freshman English or who kept me accountable for my action. Most importantly, be the person who is willing to stand up for your convictions. I think most of my class knows that one of my strongest influences is my Christian faith. It's an influence that I've had since childhood, an influence that I will keep until I die, and an influence that is affecting the way that I influence others. It's a conviction that I will never erase from my whiteboard. It's an influence that makes me who I am. Never erase a conviction or influence that makes you who you are as a person. Everyone has a quality that makes them unique. I can be a bit crazy, a bit over the top. Some people find that really weird, but that's who I am. So don't erase unique qualities just because they're not cool or you don't fit in because you have that quality. Don't add qualities that aren't you. Don't add something just because it seems cool at the time. Add what makes you you. Your dreams, your goals, your convictions. Don't erase those things. I'd like to look ahead a few years now. Let's say to our 10-year class reunion. Most of us will be done with college. Okay, so Brooke, you might still be finishing your second doctorate degree, and Mr. Johnson might still be taking college classes, because he and Scoopman <laughs> might still be teaching. We don't know, but the point is, we may be unsure of the specific events that are yet to come, but by picking the right influences, we at least have the chance to direct our future in a positive direction. Choose the wrong influences? Well, no one wants to be the classmate who didn't make it to the 10 year reunion because he was serving a jail sentence. So here it is, our chance to start fresh. Our chance to choose brand new experiences and influences. It's our chance to be a positive influence on others around us. Don't waste that chance. And I want to thank all of the parents, the family members, the teachers of all of us here just for being a positive influence in our lives. And I, I uh, thank you and hope that you can all continue to be those positive influences that we put back up on our whiteboards today.